and welcome back today i have this uh porriers or porius uh remote dog uh, dog training collar now before we begin make sure you guys do check the description below i try to leave you guys some of the latest and greatest stuff when it comes to these products and i always try to leave you some coupon codes or anything like that if you guys are interested in this Hit me up, rojasentertainment at gmail.com. Now, the a lot of these dog collars, and we're going to test this out with my puppy in a second, I love to, you know, like train her and work with her and actually like get her to do tricks. So, and I don't know if I want to call them tricks. I guess it's like etiquette, like sit, stay, um, even shake. So things like that where, where she does pretty good and she's a really smart dog. Um, with stuff like this, you do have um, one click training. You got three different options ultra long distance, verify your dog, lock keyboard, see easily within day and night, USB charging, smart control, long standby test unit. Really, really good stuff here. So, with the waterproof, it is IP67. Um, it is saying dogs smaller than four kilograms. So, I don't know what four kilograms is in pounds. You get Veep, Vibration, and E Shock. So, a lot of us don't want to shock our dog, but we are going to shock this. I don't, I don't, I'm going to shock myself because I don't like to test things out if I'm not willing to test it on myself. I don't want to shock my dog to begin with. So a couple things here to check out for sure. So here we go. Here's the box. You get a little user manual and you do get a quick uh a quick user card it's a training operation so it's pretty cool it's got the operation receiver operate the moat automatic pairing you could change channels there's a lot of stuff that you can do here so power on dog select okay so you, it looks like you could probably do several dogs with this thing it could cycle between the different dogs and stuff so this is the remote and it looks pretty fancy now, just looking at some of this stuff here, so I know some people are going to ask, uh, this button down here at the bottom, this is that you could select your dog, so cycle one, two, and three. Um, this one's going to be your beep sound. This one's going to be for your, your vibration, and that obviously is, you know, we say don't push the butt, don't push the red button. So there it is right there, the big shock collar button. Um, and then I think this is an, a screen here. So let's go ahead and power this guy on to see if we actually get a screen. Now, the one thing uh, with this thing, it wasn't USB-C. It looks like it's going to be just a standard USB. Uh, it was a USB-A or B or something. Um, I, so I do got to plug it in to see if there's going to be a charge going on. And I don't see any kind of light. And it also wasn't able to plug in all the way. So... I'm going to push it in. Now, I am using my own thing here. So before we turn it on, um, there is some things here on the side where you can just lock or unlock. That's going to be your power button. So I don't think there is any kind of power on this thing right now. So even if I long hold, it probably won't do nothing. There is your plus minus. So this will be the intensity, probably the vibration, how hard, maybe how loud, maybe how much shock there is. There's this V button here that I'm not really too sure what that's about. And it looks like, okay, V, it's a, a pairing. So it's going to be a pairing mode. Now, here is the actual collar. And while we're doing this, we are going to pull out. They do give you a little USB thing here. So that way you can plug it in. It won't fit on most chargers. I have a charger right here and it didn't fit in. This one has like a longer neck. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this in and begin the charging process. So pretty cool. There is a light right there. So it looks like it is being charged. So it, it, it almost looks like it's fully, it says, well, there's a little thing right here that shows full batteries. So I don't know if it is legit, but we're going to leave it there while it's doing its thing here. So you do get a couple things, a couple items here. Um, you do get a little lanyard that way if you need to hold on to it, there you go. Um, this is going to be the actual collar itself and you do get a couple things here. So let's just say, you know, you're, you don't want to put in the little clips right there, the, the, the little metal things to, cause that's where they would, it would go right here. So that way, if it needs to shock, it's there. You don't have to put them on, but if you want to, I'm saying the options are there. So there it is. These are going to be the options here. So your little, little shockers right there. So it's just, you know, they're just little metal pieces. Just put it in and start twisting it. And it should screw in, should screw in just like that. So 
Very, very simple. Just like a regular screw, just put it in. Now, the other thing, too, is if you're just like, you know what? I really don't want this to be shocking my dog whatsoever. The other great thing is they do give you these little plastic knobs. So if you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to put it here. And that way there is no shock happening whatsoever. So pretty good. Now, up here, you're going to open this guy up. And this is where you're going to be able to charge it if need be. And then lastly, of course, when you're putting on the collar, you want to slide it in right through there and just push it till it pops up on the other side. There it is. And then now there is your collar. Now the next thing with this is you want to put it over and under and you'll see the instructions. I try to give it some slack right there. And then with this guy over here, then you're going to go under and then over. And then from here, the easiest thing to do is, because now that you have it set up like this, the easiest thing to do is push it up just like that and then slide this thing right in and then go around and then right back in again. And then you could just tighten it up just like that. So this will hold it so that way you have a good leash on there. So there you go. When you put it on like this, um, obviously you do have those little those little pikes right there so it does dig in a little bit you do feel it, it feels uncomfortable for sure that's why i i normally when i put it on my pup i kind of leave it like this where it's not like like choking her but it's there and she feels it um but again it's basically the vibration was like bzz, you know just vibrates so the first thing i did was now that i i, I plugged this thing in here for a second um it does say it's full batteries and it does say it's locked so I'm going to unlock it. So down is locked and up is unlock. And then of course you could, you could switch the different levels. So I'm just going down and then now up. If I hit the vibration, it's supposed to vibrate the beep beeps. And that's pretty much it. So you got one, two, three, four. Now I am, I am charging this guy right here. I wonder if I, it says red. So red means it's still charging. So if I wonder if I click on this thing. And actually, let me, let me go ahead and unplug it. So it did vibrate. So you just long hold it, and this thing should turn green. If I vibrate, it, there it goes. It, it, it vibrates. If I beep it, and it beeps. So pretty simple. Let's go ahead and try this. And again, I hate to do this, but better me than hurt. So level one, and I, I feel it. it, it I, I could definitely feel it. Level two, three. Yeah, so you could feel it. You, you could definitely feel it like go go in there if i if i do this number three okay yeah you feel it. it's not bad at all um and the highest setting on this thing goes all the way up to 16 and then it goes right back down to zero um so if i do try 16 okay so <laughs> yeah it, it it definitely it definitely shocks so the one thing i always recommend if you are gonna take these off is um again hold the power it should turn red and it's going to be off so once it does that it's off it's safe to take some of these stuff off so pretty simple so let's go ahead and just do this now and let's go outside with bella and test this thing on and see how she likes it okay so here we are this is the the remote and you guys can see it's turned on i got i got her running around and she does have the collar on so if i do beep it she's gonna come over here to me and i know she's already playing with the ball there it is right there see the collar bella come so it's not bad it, it's actually not that bad it fits her actually pretty well um i took the spikes off so as you can see it doesn't like bug her too much <laughs> And as far as uh, the adjustments, how comfortable it is, everything works pretty good. So if I do click on it, you can see it turns on. If I want to beep it, she'll she'll jump around like, okay, what's going on here? So this is just the beep. And you know, she'll just, she gets a little bit like, okay, I, what am I doing wrong? Good girl, Bella. Um, and yeah so she, she does pretty good you can see here she's a happy girl that loves to play <laughs>
So let me know what you guys think about this one. As you can see, if, if you need to train her, like I already know if I start beeping this thing at her, she's going to be like, okay, what do you want me to do? See, so she ran away from the ball because she's like, okay, you want me to leave it alone? Beeped at her, she leaves it alone. So, um, and I just beeped it again. She just walked away from the other, the other one. So pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Some pretty cool stuff. Very, very simple. You don't have to use any of the options to to shock you could use like just the simple beep or just the simple buzz that goes a very very long way so um buzz is typically what most people do if they're just like okay we're done so yeah let me know what you guys think this girl is going wild right now so <laughs> as always you guys take care take care of each other see you guys in the next one peace out